Welcome back to the Weebly Tutorials. Today we're going to cover the core skill of your ePortfolio, putting in a signature assignment and reflective writing. Let's say that you are taking a course that satisfies the American institution's requirement for general education. You've completed your assignment and your reflective writing and you're ready to put it in your ePortfolio. Here's what you do. First, notice that if we tried to put all of our assignments and reflective writings into the general education page itself, the page would end up being overcrowded and it wouldn't look very good. So what we're going to do is create a hidden page for each Gen Ed requirement and point to it from the corresponding heading. So we need a hidden page called American Institutions and we're going to have people be able to click on this and go to that hidden page and see what we've done for American institutions. To add a new web page, we need to go to the Pages tab and click New Page. And we're going to call this page American Institutions. We're going to call the page the same name as the general education requirement. However, we're going to make this a hidden page by putting No for Show and Navigation. That makes it a hidden page then click edit this page. Okay, so we're on the American Institutions page that we just created. We want to create a heading called American Institutions. So let's drag a title down here and call it oops American Institutions, and we'll put a space after it, but we'll also center it. Okay. Now below that, let's drag another title in. What course did you take for American Institutions? We want to make that clear for people. So we took a U.S. government course, which is Political Science 1100, and I would put the official name of the course. Okay, and again, probably a space after that. Now let's drag in a little paragraph below that because we want to describe for people briefly what we did in this class for our signature assignment, what the instructor asked us to put into the ePortfolio. Let's pretend that we wrote a, a paper for U.S. national government. on, let's say, campaign finance issues in the last election. You might want to type a little bit more than that, a couple of sentences maybe, but we'll leave it at that for now. So below that, you want to put the paper that you wrote. Now there's two ways to do this. If it's a relatively short thing, then you can drag in a paragraph icon and you can paste your paper right in there. However, that makes the person have to scroll quite a ways down to see the whole thing and also scroll way, way down to see your reflective writing below it. So what you could do, and what I would suggest is that you do, is that you grab a file element from the multimedia section and drag it down there. This will allow you to upload your paper. So if we click here, it'll say, you know, do you want to upload a new file? And you click on Upload New File, and your, your Finder tool will open. And I'm going to grab just a, an article that I actually hand out for students in my U.S. government course, and we'll select that. Okay, so it has uploaded the file. Now we want to uh, put our reflective writing in. And so let's drag in a paragraph. 
And again, you can type your reflective writing in here, or uh, probably better if you um, type it ahead of time, copy it, and paste it in here. And if you click outside of the box, it'll then appear in there. Uh, it added a little extra spacing. I think we'll fix that. I like to make my reflective writing italicized to set it off from other things on the page. And I also actually like to put uh, a title here that says Reflection or Reflective Writing. So you have a title of the page, the course that you took, a brief description of what you did for that course, the file will be there for people to click on, and reflective writing. So I would click Publish. Now the next thing you want to do, you've created this hidden page, but nobody knows where it is. So what you want to do is you want to go back on the Pages tab to your general education page and edit that page. Here's your American Institutions heading. Let's highlight it and click on this little hyperlink tool right here. This gives you all kinds of choices about where to send this hyperlink. You can send it out to a website external to your site or you can send it to, directly to a file. What we're going to do is send it to another page in your ePortfolio. Specifically, we're going to send it to the American Institutions page that you just created. Okay, and we'll publish that. So now, when people visit your general education page, they will be able to click on this, and it will send you straight, send them straight to your American Institutions page. Now, one way to see that is to go to your settings, click on your the address to your site, and that will open up a preview or, of what is actually published for your web page. Click on General Education, and you'll see that while these other headings are dead right now, because you haven't done anything yet with them, the American Institutions heading is a live link that goes straight to your page with the title, the course, the description, the document that people can download, and reflection that you've written about that.